Welcome to my first review of 2014. Um, obviously it's not the Duke Dog. Um, I was going to plan that to be my first review, but I thought, well, I'm not doing much today, so while I wait for the Duke Dog, I would do a review of, well, this time, not just the Loco, uh, but some carriages. And this is of the uh, Devon Bell. Um, now, I should point out, this isn't the Hornby Devon Bell pack, that was released a few years ago with I think it was um, an unrebuilt West Country class plus I think two or three uh, Pullman carriages. This is just um, a combination I've bought separately, Loco and the carriages on their own. Um, so if we just zoom in, as you can see, the uh, the Devon Bell headboard itself I bought from Fox Transfers. Um, and that cost about four pounds, I think. Um, and that's just attached to the logo with a bit of blue tech. I did think about uh, gluing it on, but I also like to run the Merchant Navy with um, my set of green bullied Mortal carriages, so it would look a bit odd with a load of green coaches behind it and a Devon Bell headboard glued to the front. So I decided just to um, just blue tack that on, and it's um, it's it, it's held on pretty steadily. So um, it, it does the job, I guess. Um, but if we just zoom back a little bit, if we look at the loco itself, it's uh, number 35010 Blue Star Merchant Navy class. And the uh, nameplate is actually etched. I, I actually thought when I bought this first up, I thought it was going to be uh, just like a transfer sort of um, sheet that has been... Uh, put onto the uh, the moulding, but this is actually uh, an etched nameplate. So well done, Hornby. There, you don't often get etched nameplates on their loco, such as the King Arthur's and and so forth and the Schools class. But the, the Merchant Navy, they did actually etch this on, which surprised me. Um, but still, it's a very nice touch that they've done that. Um, so if I just zoom back again a little bit. Um, the loco itself, very very nice. Um, if I just move it forward a little bit, I've got Backman crew in there basically because I'm, I'm presumably this is one of the old uh, bullyards that hasn't got any interior cab detail. I mean there is mouldings in there that you can obviously paint up, but in terms of uh, separately fitted details, um, unlike my West Country um, Battle of Britain locos. The Merchant Navy didn't receive this um, from the Hornby, so I don't know whether they do now, the more up-to-date models of the Merchant Navies, but this one uh, didn't, unfortunately. But um, as, as a result, I've just put Backman crew in there anyway. So, um, so if we then um, just look at the tender of the Loco, I'm not sure if that's removable coal or not. Um, not 100% sure, uh, but still the tender detail again, uh, very good um, by Hornby. And um, this is, I would say, why the Bullies were so um, successful for Hornby. Um, very well detailed, uh, very popular, um, and hopefully, I know they've brought brought out a lot of Bullies in the past. We might see a few more of them. Um, whether I'll buy them or not, I don't know. I've already got four bullet Pacifics as it is, so I may not buy any more. But it'd be nice if they brought um, a few more out. Um, but anyway, so that's the loco. I would give that probably a seven out of ten. Um, the etch name plates is, is an absolute bonus, um, but in, in terms of no interior cab detail, bit of a shame. But you can't have everything. Um, everything else though on the loco, uh, very nice. So if we move now onto the Pullmans, and these are absolutely superb by Hornby. Um, if I just zoom in a little bit, this one's car number 208, third class. As you can see, they've even put, there's curtains in the windows. It's only, I think, like some sort of decal stickers. It's not proper fabric or anything like that. Um, but you've got you can see the table and the lamps, and they all light up uh, lighting when you switch the um, the power on and the train moves forward. The uh, table lamps light up. 
Um, the Devon Bell headboards on the roof. Again, these aren't just like transfers. These are proper uh, separately fitted uh, detail on the roof there. Uh, very, very good by Hornby. One of the probably... Um, one of the best, if not one of the, you know, probably the best carriages that they've produced in recent years, the um, the Devon Bell uh, carriages. So that's car number 208. If we move on, as you can see, the lights turn up, light up on the tables. We'll just hold it there. It's obviously much better effect um, at night or in a dark room. Um, that is when they really come into their own. Really, really is very nice um, when you light them up. So if I just switch that off again, this one's Argus, and again the uh, the level of detail, even the um, the buffers there, are sprung buffers, believe it or not, metal. If you just see there, just zoom in. Proper metal sprung buffers. And again, you don't often see that with the carriages all be produced. Usually they're just moulded on. Uh, but they've even done uh, sprung buffers on, on these Pullmans. So um, well done Hornby on that case as well. Um, so if we just move forward again, that one's Argus. This one is number car number 54, third class. Uh, the brake Pullman. Um, in an ideal world, I've only got three Pullmans on here plus the observation car. I would have liked to have had another couple to have made five Pullmans. Um, but as I've got a pretty small layout, uh, just a basic oval layout, it, it just would not have fitted on the on the uh, length of the track. It just would have looked a little bit odd to have the length of the train of five, set, six, seven coaches, but a very small oval layout. So that's why I only ended up buying three Pullmans. I could have bought a fourth and... Perhaps wished I had, um, but still, um, never mind. Um, we come on to the, the, the best carriage of the set. Just move forward. And this is Pullman Observation Car. And this is absolutely stunning. Obviously, the uh, no table lights to light up, but there's a bar. That would be where the bar would be uh, for drinks being served. And there's roof lights in there, and they light up along with obviously the roof lights on there. Really, really brilliant by Hornby. You, these, as I say, this is probably the best carriages I've ever produced. Um, if we just zoom in a bit, there you go, Devon Bell. And as I said before, metal sprung buffers. Why they done that, I don't know, but you know, because you, you generally just get um, moulded on plastic buffers that don't move, but Still, well done Hornby, no complaints on that. Um, really is top-notch carriages here by Hornby. So, if we now, there you go, as the light up, I'll just zoom in and we'll watch the Devon Bell go around the track a couple of times. The Loco itself, as you'd expect with a Hornby, very good motor. Zooming around the track, no problems. There's the table lamps. As I say, it really does come into its own at night time or if you're in a much better darkened room and the um, the carriage sets all light up with the table lamps. It really is quite superb. So if we'll just watch that go around one more time the tra around the track. And just to f here we go, just bring it in just about there. I do so. The cost, um, the Merchant Navy cost, I think it was in the region of 100 pounds, something like that. Um, bit pricey, but then again, it's got an etch name plates on it, so that probably ex would explain that. The Pullman carriages themselves, um, they cost about what was it 27 28 pounds um and the observation car at the rear cost 44 pounds uh not cheap um but is it worth the price value yes i would say it is 
the uh, the observation car is quite simply stunning. Um, so it's it's quite a pricey combination of train set to put together, loco plus carriages and observation car, but it's well worth it. Um, plus with obviously with the name, you know, if you want to go with a headboard, full whack with a headboard, only four quid from Fox Transfers, but it does make make it look even more the part. Um, so anyone thinking, I don't know if they're available anymore, these Devon Bell carriage it Pullman's and the and the observation car but any